Welcome to Noble Things of Wisdom with Pastor Bimbo Akinjoku. Be blessed as you listen. Good morning, dear listeners. Let me ask you a question. Why do you think God fills your cup with an overflow? You may think it's because he wants you to consume it on your lust. You may think it's because he wants you to see your need for a bigger vessel. Oh, no. God fills your cup or your vessel with an overflow. Not so you can see your need for a bigger vessel, but because he wants you to quench the thirst of the people in your generation. Do you remember the story of Peter, Simon Peter, at the lake? When Jesus Christ told him to cast his nets to one side, he doubted if anything was going to come out of it because he said he had been toiling all night. But eventually, he summoned courage and threw the net to one side of the boat, the right side that Jesus Christ told him to throw it into. And what happened? Immediately, he caught a large amount of fish that his net began to break. Now, look at what happened. As his net began to break and the boat began to sink, Jesus was there. He was looking at him. He didn't say anything. He was waiting on him to take the right decision. Peter was left with two options at that point in time. Either to hold on to all the catch and sink with his boat and everything, or to call to others and share in the spoil with them. Remember, Jesus was just looking. He did not say anything. Thank God Peter took the right decision. If not, what could have been a blessing to him would most likely have become a curse because greed could have entered. Do you remember the parable of the rich fool that God prospered greatly? He had a lot of substance, a lot of things in his household. And what did he say? He said, I'm going to pull down my barn and build a bigger one. Then I will say unto my soul, sit down, rest and eat. What did the Bible say? The Bible says that very day, his life was required of him. He died. Why? Because he did not know the purpose of the plenty that was given unto him. A lot of people are sinking today because the plenty that God has given unto them, they have not learned how to share with others. Remember, Jesus was looking at Peter. There are certain decisions that God will leave you to make on your own. He's not going to appear unto you in a dream or in a vision to tell you to bless someone that is poor beside you. He will leave you to make your own decision because he has given you the power of choice and will. That is why you are going to account for it before him. I see God bringing a lot of blessings for you this week. Make up your mind to know the ones that are for you and the ones that you are to share with others. I pray that your blessing will not end up sinking your ship in the name of Jesus. Go into this week with this wisdom and prosper in all that you do. God bless you. You have just listened to Noble Things of Wisdom with Pastor Bimbo Akinjoku. This conversation continues on Facebook and Twitter. Simply like Bimbo R. Akinjoku on Facebook or follow at Bimbo Akinjoku on Twitter. For questions and comments, please call 0809-533-8612 or 0805-901-0005. Remember to tune in next time. God bless you. This message is brought to you by the friends and partners of Hill City Inspiration House. 